We made it all the way to episode 3. Kickstarting this grind off, killing some undead druids. I have a chance to get the Mask of Renal, is it? Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But we could just call it the Mask, like in that 90s movie with Cameron Diaz and Jim Carrey. So the Mask is 1 in 1000. This is another 2 for 1 special. So I have a chance to get the Zombie Champion Scroll, which is 1 in 5000. Doesn't seem very likely, but we've got to stay positive. And I do have a chance to receive Hard Clue Scrolls, which are 1 in 100. I'm legit having a blast killing these druids, so AFK, I can even use the salve amulet here, just north of me there's a prayer altar, so I don't even need supplies, so I can sip one divine potion while having the preserve prayer and the protect from magic prayer active, and after 5 minutes I still have 15 prayer points remaining, so I only need to use the altar once every 5 minutes. When they do lose aggro, I would just run south past some rocks, then straight back, and then the aggro would be reapplied. The drops are pretty amazing too, lots of runes, lots of noted drops, Rainar herbs, I bought some Alk runes with me to Alk all the battle staffs. This really is a good place to train, obviously people go to the Nightmare Zone or go kill Vara or Senitals for the blood shards, but if you're someone who hasn't done Sins of the Father and doesn't want to AFK the Nightmare Zone, this would be a great and excellent alternative. Only problem with them is if you get within melee distance, they will switch to melee, so it's better to keep your distance, use the Protect from Magic Prayer, and just range them down. This will make an excellent Slayer task for low levels too, as this is actually classed as a zombie monster. Hey, we just got another range level. 101. No way, we actually got the zombie champion scroll. This is huge. Saved us so many hours. I was looking around at first thinking, wait, did I get the mass drop? I don't see it anywhere. Hey, we got the mass drop. And we managed to get a hard clue scroll from the same zombie. So it took us 912 kills just to receive the Zombie Champion Scroll, then we managed to get the Mask of Renal at 1050kc, we managed to get ourselves 15 hard clues and we ended up making about 3.1 million profit. And let's see what we can get from these 23 beginner clue scrolls, most likely going to be garbage but who knows, I did get most of them from birdhouse runs. Let's see if we can do anything better with these 16 hard clue scrolls. master clue scroll lucky me back with the master casket and the last two hard caskets wish me luck no way we actually got something an obsidian cape ah oh, this thing looks way better than the old or the original obsidian cape well 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 would you look at that another master clue scroll let's see what we can get from this master clue scroll no way wow a mimic this is my lucky day and that's another mimic down these things are so rare it's just ridiculous Come on baby, I better get some third age from this master casket. And the final hard clue scroll? Hey, we got an ancient kite shield. Well, something's better than nothing, I guess. Sacrificing some eggs to the shrine. I've got about 200 eggs and I'm trying to get the evil chicken outfit. So I can get the head, the top, the bottoms and the feet. And all of them are 1 in 300. So I can get these eggs from woodcutting trees, but for some reason you can't get them from redwood trees. Now I can get them from managing the kingdom of miscellanea, and I really would not recommend doing that as I tried once, and after like 40 days I only ended up with 12 eggs. And the third place you can get them from is birdhouse runs. That's where I got all mine from, and before Jagex added the shrine to the woodcutting guild, there was literally no use for eggs, and they served no purpose in the game. And if you didn't know, you don't have to manually click like I'm doing, you can just offer one bird egg at a time and it'll automatically do your entire inventory for you. I gotta say, I really do love birdhouse runs, passive XP and money, hunter literally became a side skill like farming, and it only takes you like one minute to do a full birdhouse run. Some of my best runs I'd make like 130k just in nests, and that doesn't even include searching the nest for seeds or rings. And currently a birdhouse nest is like 5.5k each, that is insane. Last year when I was doing birdhouse runs, I was only getting 2k a nest. And I'm currently getting about 4,800 XP per run. 
but I'm doing redwood birdhouses and not everyone can do them but still easy money easy XP you literally have no excuse not to be doing them and you can even just treat it like a passive daily activity where you just do it once a day as soon as you log in and I prefer doing birdhouse runs literally 24 7 the good thing about these birdhouses they only take 50 minutes to fully grow compared to herb runs which take a whole 80 minutes Wow, would you actually look at that? We got something, the evil chicken top. So I got the evil chicken top and then like a few seconds later someone in the clan managed to get the dark core pet, the one you get from Corporal Beast. So now we have the top, the feet, the legs, and all we are missing now is the chicken head. So I'm currently killing cave horrors, trying to get the black mass, which is 1 in 512. I can also get hard clue scrolls, which are 1 in 128. I'm actually really surprised that I never got this when I was a low level player training Slayer. I'm pretty sure the black mass is currently going for 1 mil. That's pretty wild considering they only have 55 HP. That's literally the same drop rate as getting a whip from an Abbey Demon, but the only difference is Abbey Demons have over 200 HP. Awesome, we got the Black Mask. Easy 1 mil, and it took us 204 kills, and we did manage to get one hard clue scroll too. Just doing the Fossil Island notes, this has to be the 10 easiest collection log slots anyone can obtain with a zero effort at all and all you have to do is load Numulite into these stone chests and you can buy the Numulite off the Grand Exchange. So at the end of the quest bone voyage you can get a book and then you can take these notes and add them to the book. Unfortunately I couldn't find the book in my bank so I'm gonna have to go and get myself another one. I did check reddit to see if the book has any uses and a lot of people saying that it might have been a mystery quest at the time or Jagex were going to do something in the future with the book but currently it's just dead content. Wow as if I nearly died trying to get these fossil island notes I had no idea at the time but searching these stone chests you can receive damage from them and that's another part of the collection log fully complete. What kind of runescape animation is that? <laughs> Uh, I'm assuming this player is using a pest or a mortar, or maybe they're grinding something. We have just completed the quest below Ice Mountain. I'm probably one of the only few max players that never actually did this quest. Mining some Baronite ore, trying to get myself some Baronite deposits. This place is brilliant, it's like the FTP version of Motherload Mine. So I can get myself 10 collection log slots in total, 7 of them can be obtained from smithing baronite deposits. The other three involve combining items to make the baronite mace. I will also need to fish to get the baronite handle. I will need to kill chaos golems to receive the baronite guard. So the first seven items are one in 350. The handle is unknown on the Irish wiki, just says rare. 
and the Baronite Guard is 1 in 150. The Golems do give beginner clue scrolls too, which are 1 in 100. I did take a little tiny break from my grind and went into World 301 just to see what this place was like. It was just booming. There were so many players. This really was a great update for the F2P community. So once we have enough Baronite deposits, all we want to do is go use them on the anvil and then we can start smithing. And that's the first item coming in, the Ancient Ledger. Another ancient item that I can't pronounce. The ancient astroscope coming in. Surprise, surprise, another ancient item that I cannot pronounce. And say hello to the Baronite head. And that's the ancient globe. Wow, okay, we just got the Baronite handle from fishing. That only took us like 5 10 minutes to achieve. So I'm killing Chaos Golems and I just noticed they have a drop that is 1 in 7 called a Chaos Core. This core gives you 10 times the runes and 10 times the XP when using it at our rune crafting altar. That is actually crazy. F2P players can also get cores from the other 3 golems so this could be a decent rune crafting method for them. Sweet, we got the Baronite Guard and it took us about 165 kills and we did actually manage to get one beginner clue scroll. The time has finally come to combine our Baronite pieces and get the legendary Baronite Mace. And it is finally time to get the Imkando Hammer. If I ever do some smithing in the future, it'll be nice to save an inventory slot. Curiosity got the better of me. I just wanted to see the stats of this Baronite Mace. It's not bad. I wonder if it's the same as a Rune Mace or a Rune Warhammer. And take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That is another part of the collection log complete. Currently on the Temporos grind, I really do love this Infernal Harpoon. It has a 1 in 3 chance to cook the Fisher Catch. It's not really that overpowered, it just makes the whole activity more relaxing and chilled out. So in a team, I'm getting about 5-6 to six points per game. When I solo, I usually get 9 points, but it just depends on my mood. And having other people to put out the fires for me just makes my life a whole lot easier. Ooh, look at that, we just got another fishing level. Level 102. Yay me. Got myself 500 fishing reward permits from Temporos. Let's see what we can get. All we need now is the Temporos pet and the Tome of Water.
Wow, I went in the kitchen to grab a snack. I thought by the time I come back, I might have got myself a new collection log slot. It's actually taken me almost 14 minutes just to go through 500 reward permits. So there's a 1 in 20 chance to receive these caskets. There is a 1 in 20 chance to receive easy clue scrolls. A 1 in 33.3 chance to receive medium clue scrolls. And a 1 in 50 chance to receive hard clue scrolls. And we ended up with 1.9 mil worth of fish. We got another 120k from the casket. So we made just over 2 mil from 500 searches. Chilling at Soul Wars, I usually don't even kill the avatar or play the game properly. I usually just run around killing other players and I don't really like small games. I prefer it when there's at least 100 players in a game at any given time. I usually take Fire Surge with the Term of Fire, it's really overpowered here. But lately I've been switching to Ice Barrage with the Osmonton Spang. Well, that was until it got nerfed and kind of messed up my plans. Look at those 400 EXP drops. Don't you just love being able to hit 100s on the avatar with Enchanted Ruby Bolts? My god, look at all these arrows and bolts, you can't even see what's going on around me. This has got me thinking, how much money could I actually make in a whole hour just from running around souls, collecting people's arrows and bolts off the ground? The time has finally come to get the Ectoplasmata. Now, if you're wondering what it does, it's like a bone crusher or an ash sanctifier, but it works on spectral creatures, like aberrant spectres or Anku and many other monsters. It even stacks with the bone crusher if a certain spectral monster has a bone drop. And now it's time to get the Soul Wars cape. Yay! For me this wasn't even a hard grind as I love playing Soul Wars, but this cape looks so ugly. But now I have the best prayer cape in RuneScape and it gives an 8 prayer bonus too. Well, would you look at that, the Soul Wars log is finally complete. We have the Ectoplasmata, we have the Soul Wars cape, and we have the little avatar creator pet. Now, if you didn't know, you can use your Ava device on Nomad, go through the chat options and you'll be able to collect all your ammunition inside of Soul Wars. And we might as well take a look at the scoreboard. But first, someone tell me, why isn't there a scoreboard at Castle Wars? So, personal games played, 850. Personal games won, 380. That's quite bad. Personal kills, 6,539. And personal deaths, 1,607. Oh no, it's that time again. The video is coming to an end. I know you wish it was an hour long, so do I. Legit just spent the last 20 minutes wondering what collection log slots I should go for next. I'm thinking I might try Slayer and a bit of Bosting and see how I get on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to give the video a like, and if you want to see more, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. And I will see you all real soon.